lovers rejoice. It's been three years since gamers first visited Pandora, not to be confused with James Cameron's World of Blue People. And Gearbox Software and 2K Games have just released the aptly titled Borderlands 2. The guns, goofiness, and vehicles are all back, but this time there are some new characters to try out and areas to visit. The first Borderlands did very well and delighted gamers with its FPS dungeon crawler feel, but is a return trip to Pandora worth $60 US? The world of Pandora is a dangerous place inhabited by robots, mutated wildlife, and salty characters with big guns and bigger personalities. Everything has a sort of Old West meets science fiction feel. It's a mashup that's been done before, but feels different from settings like those in Firefly or Cowboy Bebop. Borderlands 2 starts with you being nearly killed by the megalomaniac Handsome Jack, then doing everything you can to take him down and save Pandora. You'll follow this game's story through some decent twists and some epic moments, but this game is more about personality than story. Tongue in Cheek doesn't adequately describe Borderlands' tone. From doctors who aren't afraid of hurting their patients, to psychopathic gun merchants, the inhabitants of Pandora are decidedly over the top. Before meeting any of them though, you will start off by selecting one of four character types, with skills ranging from invisibility to deployable turrets. Like in any RPG, completing quests and taking down enemies both net XP that level up your character. With each new level comes more health and weapon damage, as well as a skill point. These points can be spent on character-specific abilities and help you make your personal Vault Hunter your own. If dissatisfied with how you've spent your points, you can respec them for a small fee at any time. Being able to alter a character after hours of play gives Borderlands 2 a feeling of flexibility that permeates every layer of its design. You can grind through the story on your own, jump in and out of other players' games, or even play split-screen co-op, a rarity in console RPGs. This works well because while the story is okay, this is a game that's all about playing a bunch of quests, trying innumerable different weapons, and having fun with friends. While you are essentially just going to a location, clearing out enemies, grabbing loot, and finding quest items, the quirkiness of your objectives makes this all seem more interesting than a typical dungeon crawler. It may only be a superficial difference, but humor keeps this game feeling light and fun through multiple playthroughs. From the squeals and roars of Pandoran wildlife to the screams and quips of bandits, everything you'll hear in Borderlands 2 serves to set a mood. Every person or robot you meet has something to say, and they will be talking a lot. Yeah, great job. We're all Claptrap especially never seems to run low on comments that can be pretty funny sometimes, but can grow annoying on consecutive playthroughs. <laughs> Jack's drilling operations are causing those earthquakes. That, or your mom just got out of bed. Zing! The voice acting here is actually pretty great, but very campy. There are robot enemies who say, no, 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 in a calmly panicked tone. Gruff vault hunters and the sleazily sarcastic handsome Jack, to name a few. Just bought a pony made of diamonds. Yeah, <laughs> because I'm rich. So, you know, that's cool. Goodbye. What all these characters may lack in believability, they more than make up for with personality and ridiculousness. Music ranges from twangy western motifs to electronic pumping beats that all sound fantastic and change appropriately to fit the action on screen. Sound effects like ricocheting bullets, explosions, and revving engines are distinct and mixed very well. Even in heated combat, I was able to make out each individual sound, which is impressive given how hectic this game can get. Functionality, style, and humor. That's what you'll be hearing every time you play Borderlands 2. Hand-drawn textures, thick black borders, and wide open spaces. All of these feature prominently in Borderlands 2. Modern FPS fans might balk at games that don't strive for photorealism, but they really shouldn't. Borderlands 2, in case you haven't picked up on this already, is all about style. Exaggerated creature designs and colorful locales make certain every moment spent on Pandora is visually satisfying. You will quest through snowy plains, arid deserts, futuristic cities, and more on your way to murder Handsome Jack. 
Since there is a huge emphasis on seemingly infinite weapon permutations, expect to see several gun archetypes with variations that grow increasingly interesting as you move through this game. Everything just has a, for lack of a better term, Borderlands look that makes each element visually unique. Character animations and interactions can be a little stiff, but that doesn't really hurt the visual presentation in any meaningful way. Everything you see will be frenetic, epic, or at the very least, very informational. Damage done to enemies is displayed in color-coded numbers that immediately let you know how much elemental, resisted, or standard damage you are exacting upon your foes. Flourishes like flames, corrosion clouds, and bloody chunks will pepper your screen, giving you both pertinent battle information and visceral feedback for every shot fired that lands. As with every other element of Borderlands 2, the visual presentation serves to relay valuable information and maintain a unique and humorous style that keeps your deadly proceedings from growing overly morose and off-putting. As I said before, you will spend pretty much all of your time on Pandora accepting missions, grabbing loot, killing enemies, and retrieving quest items. If you think that sounds repetitive, you're right, but that description undersells this game's value by an enormous margin. It would be easy to dismiss Borderlands 2 as a by-the-numbers dungeon crawler that happens to feature a first-person perspective. While technically accurate, such an assessment misses the taste of special sauce that makes Borderlands 2 so wonderful. Standard RPG tropes are absolutely represented here. The rock, paper, scissors of elements makes an appearance as fire on flesh, corrosive on armor, and electric on shields, with slag as a wild card that makes the aforementioned more effective. If you're like me, you'll spend a great deal of time comparing weapon stats like magazine size and reload speed to determine how best to tackle an objective with newly acquired weapons, but that process does not come close to encapsulating the potentially engrossing experience of playing this game. Moment to moment gameplay is more reminiscent of Halo than its fellow first person RPG Fallout. Jumping, shooting, and aiming all feel great, if somewhat loose, and help create a feel of competent action with a strong RPG slant, giving Borderlands 2 an extremely unique feel. Numbers and interlocking statistics will determine the shakiness, fire rate, and general effectiveness of every gun you use, but this game feels more like a AAA shooter than any other first-person RPG I've ever played. Just trying to beat Borderlands 2's story mode will take close to 30 hours if you go through it alone. I've done this, and I sort of regret it. Borderlands 2 was designed to be played with friends, and while I did play a little co-op while making this review, focusing on beating the final boss gave me a drive that, I think, was detrimental to how much fun I could have had with this game. Vanquishing Handsome Jack will reward you with a true Vault Hunter mode that lets you start the game over with your weapons, level, and skill points intact, and that alone adds a lot to my personal incentive to revisit each and every mission I already undertook on the battle-riddled surface of Pandora. That said, the meat of your time spent with Borderlands 2 will likely involve replaying missions, swapping weapons, and guiding slash following online friends of varying levels through quests that require different levels and skill sets to accomplish. Borderlands 2 is designed to be played over and over again, but remain fun and engaging through each playthrough. Once this game gets its hooks in you, you will come back ad infinitum, pleased and engrossed for months to come. Also, there are DLC packs on the way, so that's awesome.